Hi, it's Rebecca. One of my readers asked me if I had a process to sell your house quick, and as a matter of fact, I do. I have used this same process to sell my own house within two weeks, and I did it with a friend of mine, and hers sold within less than a month. So, it takes a little bit of effort, but it's so worth it. The first thing you need to realize is that your house has a consciousness. Now, whether you lived in it, or maybe it was a rental prob property, that house has had a lot of experiences, either with you or with your tenant. So, the first thing you want to do is have a thankfulness, gratitude ritual, with the house walk through every room thanking it and blessing it then you need to realize remember everything has consciousness so maybe there were fights that happened maybe there were some unpleasant things that happened you need to bring in divine light and just smooth those things over you need to send in <clears throat> the energy of forgiveness, just to forgive everything that happened in that house that wasn't so pleasant. And then, of course, you need to edify the good memories, the good times. Everything wasn't bad, honey. Now, you have acknowledged the, con the consciousness of the home and <clears throat> it knows that you're grateful and so say it out loud you know i'm leaving or it's time to let you go a lot of times the home will know i know with my when i got a new car i didn't want a new car but my old car which was really old and wonderful said to me rebecca you don't need me anymore i'm just way too much for you it was a van and I had it when my kids were little. And I needed it then, but I have no little children. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Anyway, so, so you've acknowledged the consciousness of your house. You've been grateful. You've cleared any negative energy. Now, here's what you need to know. Your house, we already established it, that it has a consciousness. And it is seeking a particular kind of family or person maybe your house wants to have someone own it that has <coughs> pets maybe it doesn't want pets <coughs> speaking of pets i have a frog in my throat <laughs> um but just realize the consciousness of the house can actually reach out and draw to itself the person that it wants. I know the last house I purchased, nobody would buy it. It was a fabulous house. And it had been on the market so long the owner was about to have to go into foreclosure. But it was my house. And actually, some incidents had happened in that house that were very sad and led to the owner committing suicide. And the heaviness of the energy stayed in the house. Well, of course, when I looked at the house, I felt that heaviness, but we know how to clear that, right? So, as soon as I made the most fabulous deal you could ever imagine... I just cleared the energy, and it's cleared and wonderful to this very day. But back to you. Once you do the gratitude ceremony and the clearing, and you acknowledge that your house, apartment, condo, whatever it is, has someone, some type of energy in mind, then you encourage that. Now, resist getting into desperation. If you get into desperation, you're going to block the new owner from coming. So just envision your house with a big smile on its face or your condo or whatever it is. And envision the warmth 
that the home is feeling with this new family, new single person, newlywed couple, whatever it is. And whenever you get into any kind of desperation about selling your property, shift quickly to that feeling of joy that your home is feeling with its new owners. And always have it in mind that it must be for the highest good of all. If there's things about that home that you know are going to give the new owner trouble, full disclosure, they will appreciate it. Don't have any kind of cheating energy involved in your transaction because energy is energy. And believe me, if that kind of thing is going on, it's going to block the sale. So try this. I've seen it work, especially when you just get light with it. And moving into gratitude is exactly what you need to get light with it. I invite you to leave me your comments below. If you'd like a special prayer to help you sell your house, I'm happy to do that. And while you're here, if you like this kind of information, subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, there's a little bell beside the button. If you click that, it will let you know every single time that I upload a new video. And if there's a topic you'd like to see covered, put that in the comment section below too. This is Rebecca Marina Messenger, and I'm just blessing you with happy sales and a happy new home and blessings to the home that you're leaving behind. God bless everyone.